Hello, how to solve this exponential problem? This is n power 2 minus n power 3 equals 2. We are solving for all values of n that satisfies this equation. Now, there's power 2 here, there's power 3 here. So you can express this 2 here as summation of 1 and 1. Then you now have n power 2 minus n power 3 equals 1 plus 1, which is the same thing as 2. Now, this is power 2, this is power 3. I can raise this one to the power of 2, or raise this to the power of 3. Remember, 1 power 2 is the same thing as 1. 1 power 3 is the same thing as 1. I just want the exponent here to correspond with this, and this to correspond with this. Now, the next thing we are going to do will be to move this over here and equate everything to 0 of n power 2 minus n power 3 minus 1 power 2 plus 1 power 3 equals 0. From here we have n power 2 minus n power 3 minus 1 power 2 minus 1 power 3 equals 0. Now, power 2, power 2, power 3, power 3. So let's combine. We have n power 2, minus 1 power 2, minus n power 3, minus 1 power 3, equals 0. So the next thing we are going to do, we can have our n power 2 minus 1 power 2. We can factor out this one. If n power 3 plus 1 power 3 equals 0. So we need to expand each of these terms here. Now to expand this, power 2, power 2, this minus, make use of difference of two squares. A squared minus b squared equals a minus b times a plus b. And in this case, a is n, b is 1. And for this other side here, you have a power 3, plus b power 3, this equals a plus b times we have b squared minus a b plus b power 2 and a is n while b is 1 as well. So these are the two identities we are going to use in order to expand. So let's start with this one here. We have a minus b that is n minus 1 times n plus 1, then we have minus here. For this, we have this n plus 1 times this is n squared minus n times 1 plus 1 power 2, and this equals 0. So, at this particular point here, we have n minus 1 times this is n plus 1. And as you have n plus 1 times this is n squared minus n plus 1. And this equals 0. So you can decide to factor out n plus 1 because you have it here, we have it here. This divide n plus 1, we have n minus 1. Then we have minus, this divided by n plus 1, we have n squared minus n plus 1 and this equals 0. So from here we have n plus 1 times is n minus 1 this is minus n squared plus n minus 1 and this equals 0. So from here have n plus 1 times this is minus n squared n plus n that is plus 2 n minus 1 minus 1 minus 2 and this equals 0. So from here what you are going to have will be we can easily equate each of these to 0. 
we have n plus 1 equals 0. We also have minus n squared plus 2n minus 2 equals 0. If n plus 1 equals 0, we can solve for n here. Moving this over here, we have n equals negative 1. Now for this, what we are going to do will be to divide each part of this equation. Ensure that the equation here is positive. So we divide each part of this equation by a negative form. So right now we are going to have this divide this, we have n squared, this is minus 2n plus 2, this equals 0. So we have this quadratic equation that we are going to solve for n. Now, in order to solve this quadratic equation, we are going to make use of formula method. We write the formula in respect to n. n equals negative b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac divided by 2a. 1 is the equation of n squared, that is a. Negative 2 is b. c is 2. So from here we have n equals negative b. Negative times negative 2. Plus or minus square root of d squared. Negative 2. Over 2. Minus 4 times 1 times 2. Divided by 2 times a. Times 1. Or a is 1. So from here, you have n equals this is 2. Plus or minus square root of. This will give you 4. Minus this will give you. 8 divided by 2. So from here, you have n equals 2 plus or minus square root of this is minus 4 divided by 2. And then we have n equals 2 plus or minus this minus here, you have square root of negative 1 times square root of 4 divided by 2. So from here, the square root of negative one here is i. We have n equals two plus or minus i times square root of four is two divided by two. Two cancels two cancels two. We simply have one plus or minus i. So we have two complex values again for n. n equals this one plus i, and also n equals one minus i. And don't forget, we also have one resolution, which is negative one. So the next thing we are going to do will be to check by inserting this resolution back into this equation. I have checked. And equals negative four. N power two minus N power three equals two. Negative one power two. And of negative 1 to our 3 equals 2, question mark. When you have negative 1 to the power of an even number, you have positive. And this is minus. When you have negative 1 to the power of an odd number, this negative raised to the power of an odd is negative, so you have negative 1. Is this 2? From here, you have 1. Negative times negative. That is positive. Plus one, this equals two. So we now have one plus one, that is two. This equals two. Left hand side equals right hand side. So, guys, what we just did in a bit to recap is we actually express this one here in terms of summation of one and one. We raise this to the power of 2 and to the power of 3 respectively so that it can correspond with this one here and this one here. From there, 
we put it over here. Then we combine the common terms. And when the exponents are the same, we combine those ones here. And this one here, the exponents are the same. We factor out negative here. We expand using this identity. And also, we also expand this using this identity. From there, we factor out n plus 1, which is the common term. Then, at that particular point here, we have two different equations, which is this and this. And from here, we ensure that we eliminated this negative by dividing by negative 1 and had a perfect quadratic equation in which we solved using the formula method. So, that was how we had the solutions. So, that's it. Thank you. See you again.